You ask me fair questions, I will give you fair answers. Thank you, sir. That's a deal. And you know, not everybody thought that I should come on this show. And we appreciate it. All right. Will you pay your fair share? How can you challenge the idea that socialism is bad? Why do you believe that the government can provide better health care than the private sector? How would you bring back jobs and industry? Now, you raise the issue, I am a millionaire. Well, actually, this year we had $560,000 in income. And that's a lot of money. And that money, in my case, in my wife's case, it came from a book that I wrote. Pretty good book. You might want to read it. So if anyone thinks that I should apologize for writing a best-selling book, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do it. So I guess on Fox News you said that I benefited from Trump's tax bill. Did you tell people that I voted against Trump's tax bill? Sure, but you, okay. did, you did benefit you did from it. Yeah. <laughs> but I voted against it. But whether it's me or you or anybody else, I think wealthy people and large Corporations that are making billions of profits should start paying their fair share of taxes. Why don't you got Donald Trump up here and ask him how much he pays in taxes? Yeah. Well, yeah, well, look, I guess the president watches your network a little bit, right? <laughs> hey, President Trump, my wife and I just released 10 years. Please do the same. Let the American people know how much we Whether you're conservative or moderate or progressive, I don't think the American people are proud that we have a president who is a pathological liar. If we spend all of our time attacking Trump, you know what? Democrats are going to lose. All right? So our, job, our job is to lay out a vision that makes sense to the working families of this country. And that's kind of what I'm trying to do. I believe that health care is a human right, not a privilege. A show of hands of how many people get their insurance from work, private insurance, right now. How many get it from private insurance? Okay, now of those, how many are willing to transition to what the senator says, a government-run system? We don't need to demonize immigrants. That we don't need to do. What we need is comprehensive immigration Absolutely. reform. That's what the American people want. And if we had a president who believed in that, we could actually do it. You are looking to become the first Jewish president. Yes. You're also a staunch supporter of Congresswoman Ilhan Omar, who... I've talked to Ilhan about twice in my life, so... I support a, a Muslim member of Congress not to be attacked every single day in outrageous, right. racist right. remarks. Sure. And I think that Ilhan has got to do maybe a better job in speaking to the Jewish community. But if, you're, if your question to me is, do I think she is anti-Semitic? No, I don't. It is not anti-Semitic to be critical of a right-wing government in Israel. We have a lot more in common than most people think we do. All right, poll after poll. Should we raise the minimum wage to a living wage? Yes. Should we rebuild our crumbling infrastructure? Yes. Should we make sure that our veterans get the health care that they have earned? Yes. All right, should we make sure that we do not cut Social Security or Medicare or Medicaid? Should we give huge tax breaks to billionaires? You know, that's how most people feel. 